Today I'm sharing with you some of my favorite cleaning products. Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I'm excited to do this video for you today because one, I'm going to be sharing my favorite cleaning products and two, I'm doing it with the most darling girl named Candice from Fancy That with Candice. She is actually here in Utah and not too far from me, so maybe one day we can collaborate in person. She's amazing. Go check out her channel. She is a beauty and lifestyle vlogger and I love her channel and I enjoy watching her and today we're collaborating to share with you our favorite cleaning products. So after you watch this, click over to Candice's channel so you can see what her favorite cleaning products are and if you're new from Candace's channel hello my name is Kimmy and I invite you to hit that subscribe button so you are part of the family and you don't miss the fun if you're already subscribed I invite you to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload let's jump into my favorite cleaning products or shall we you guys have been asking for this video asking what's your favorite cleaning products and can you show us your Norwex products? So you know what, I'm gonna combine the two and we're gonna do just that. So a lot of my products are Norwex because I have been using it for three years. And after three years, I'm still in love with everything. Everything cleans beautifully and it's done without chemicals. So I, I'm having a hard time going back to my old ways. Every now and then I'll try a new product. A few months, or about a month ago, I tried Method and you were all like, oh my gosh, you noticed in the video I was, spraying the counters and you're like, do you still use Norwex? Yes, I still like dabbling and trying different clean products and see how I like them, but you guys, I always go back to Norwex, so let's just jump into it. Okay, one thing I'm gonna share that's not Norwex, obviously, is vinegar. Okay, I buy two of these at Costco in one box. It's super cheap, it's like $3.20, I don't know, for a, uh, for a box of two, so a gallon of vinegar. I use vinegar as my fabric softener in my washing machine. I don't use fabric softener at all. I just pour about a fourth of a cup into where you would put your fabric softener so it freshens my clothes. It actually does make the towels fluffy. I've never had a crunchy towel and it takes all the odor out of your clothes, especially your towels. If you have a mildewy smell in your washing machine, it's because a lot of the times your um, fabric softeners, your laundry detergents have a lot of fillers. And the fillers do stay in your washing machine. And so it creates this really stinky smell and odor and sometimes it'll leach onto your clothes. Well, if you put vinegar in your washer, then no problem whatsoever. So this is what I use. I've been using this for years. Um, haven't gone back and my clothes smell great they don't leave your clothes smelling like vinegar you might get a hint of it if uh, you put too much vinegar in and then if you air dry some of your clothes lay them out you might get a little hint but you don't need a whole lot of it so I use about a fourth of a cup I know a lot of people make homemade cleaners with vinegar I don't I just use vinegar in my laundry I also put vinegar in my dishwasher uh, you know where you can put your jet dry I will fill it with vinegar and it works beautifully okay the number one thing that I clean within my home, which you all have noticed, which some of you think is pretty cool, and which some of you think is disgusting, and that's okay. I'm gonna actually show you the science behind this. This is what I clean the majority of my home with. This is the Norwex Envirocloth, okay? This cleans everything. This microfiber is amazing. There is so, so, so much microfiber, it grabs onto everything off the surface. And when I say everything, I mean everything, and leaves it clean. And when you get it wet, use cold water, which is really weird because you think you need hot water. Wring it out, wring all the water out, wring all that water out. You don't want a, a heavy cloth. Get all the extra moisture out, fold it and start cleaning. That microfiber is gonna pick everything up off the surface and leave it clean. Um, and then in these cloths, there is silver. So you'll notice on the tags of the cloths it says anti-back. So there's silver in these cloths. So when you're done and you rinse out your cloth, you're done cleaning and you hang it to dry, the silver goes in there and takes care of all the bacteria and viruses that are left on your cloth. What silver does is it stops the enzyme growth of bacteria. It can't produce, it can't grow, it ends up suffocating it. And then you end up throwing it in the wash and cleaning and you start all over again with this amazing cloth. I clean everywhere with this, you guys. In my bathroom, in my kitchen. I dust with it, I clean my blinds with it. I clean everything with this cloth. It's amazing. So like I said, a lot of you think that this is pretty gross and you've seen me cleaning it in videos. 
one, I use each bathroom has its own cloth. So nothing goes into other rooms. Our bathroom cloth does not go to our kitchen. So a lot of you think, oh my gosh, is she going from the bathroom to the kitchen or the kitchen to the bathroom? No, not at all. Each bathroom has their own and, uh, and then they go into the wash and there you have it. So let me show you the science behind this and why I trust it, why I've been using it for three years and why I can never go back to anything else. Let's do the chicken test. Do you wanna see something crazy? Let's go into the kitchen. Here is the chicken test that will show you why I love using these cloths to clean everywhere, including my bathrooms. These are protein hygiene testing strips. Um, this is similar to what health inspectors will use when they go into a restaurant to swab an area. If they detect protein, that means there's bacteria. Bacteria can grow on a surface so fast and multiply. Norwex did not make these. I ordered them from this company. Here you see the chart. When I wipe the surface with the Q-tip part, I'll crack the solution and it'll test and see what the protein levels are like. This is highly contaminated and it goes up to green. Green is clean. So we could really see how contaminated the area is. So to detect protein, and again where there's protein, there's bacteria, I have chicken, something that we all eat and are afraid to use in our kitchens because of bacteria. And you always wanna be careful after you clean up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smear the chicken on my counter. Okay. Now, I'm gonna show this to you a few ways so you believe me. <laughs> okay, first I'll do it this way. I'm gonna use this cloth with this side of the tag on, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove everything off the surface. Voila, here's my cloth. I'm just gonna put it right, hmm, right here for ya. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my strip and I'm going to swab the area, okay? And then I'm going to put it in the, back in the tester and then I'm going to crack the solution. Give it a little shake. And as you could see, green is clean. That surface is clean and not contaminated because these cloths pull everything off the surface. Now you're like, okay, but there's chicken on that cloth. I mean, you're gonna go onto another surface and contaminate it. No, okay, let's move it over. Let's do it over here. I'm gonna take this same side and I'm gonna rub over here. And I'm gonna take my swab. I'm gonna swab again. And I would tell if it's purple just on the Q-tip part, but it's not, okay? So still green, green is clean. Okay, Kimmy, but you still, you've got chicken on that cloth. You're touching it. All right, well, let's swab the cloth. Mm. My Q-tip doesn't show any signs of purple. And my green, it's still clean. It's because it traps everything deep into this cloth. When the cloth is wet, the silver is activated. It stops bacteria in its tracks. It breaks down its enzymes so it can't grow, can't spread. So these microfiber cloths are amazing. Okay, so let's test it in a different way too. Okay. So to prove it to you, here's the chicken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my, my swab and I'm gonna swab the chicken. And immediately, immediately, can you see the purple? The swab goes purple because it's detecting that protein. Isn't that cool? So you know that it's safe. You can use this on any surface and I clean them um, about every four days to a week. I'll throw them in the wash. 99.9% .9 effective. It has been tested against all the leading products and it has beat them out hands down. Doesn't that blow your mind? Doesn't that blow your mind? Oh my gosh, the first time I saw that test done, I was like, Whoa. So yeah, this is what I use to clean everything. So you're gonna notice that I don't use any harsh chemicals in my home at all. So what I use to shine my windows, clean my windows, clean my mirrors, clean anything shiny in my home, is I use this window cloth. This will take the place of any glass cleaner that you have. Oh yeah.
So this is the window cloth and this also has the silver in it. Nice. So it's a microfiber just made a different way. It's, it's smooth. So what you do is you you take your wet Enviro cloth, just start washing your windows, wash your mirror. Then you take your window cloth and you buff. Okay, so this will shine up anything. The more you buff with it, the shinier it will get. I get asked a lot, what would you use to clean your stainless steel appliances? No way would I go to anything else right here because your stainless steel cleaner that they have you use ends up leaving a residue. That's why you're cleaning it all the time. This doesn't leave a residue. So after you're done cleaning and buffing your shiny surface, you could take your fingers and start streaking and you won't leave a mark. It's pretty amazing. So I also use this on my countertops. You've seen me use this in my videos as well. This is what gets my granite countertops super, super shiny. So I ditched the granite cleaner, got rid of it, and this is what I use. This shines it beautifully. And you've probably noticed it on some of the videos. I can't, it is, Amazing. So this is what I use on my windows, my mirrors, anything shiny, my microwave, my refrigerator. I can't go back to anything else, you guys. I love the window cloth. I'm going to share with you another one of my favorite cleaning products, and this is called the cleaning paste. It's called a paste, but actually it's quite chalky. What it is is marble flour, coconut oil, and traces of pure soap. So what you do is you get your, I use my Enviro cloth, you get a cloth wet, and you rub it into the paste. And then you can go and get any scuff mark off the wall. You can get permanent marker off of things. I got permanent marker off a coffee table with this. I also use it on my faucets, around my faucets where that dry ring is. I've used it in my shower to do the walls, to do the floor. This is amazing. This is a must have. It'll also get like that cooked grease that's on your pans off as well. So let me show you some markings that I had on my door that I cleaned up for you. I love that stuff love it so this like it could replace like comet all those harsh scrubbing chemicals right here and it's safe to use everything I'm showing you your kids can use and they won't get hurt I would have to say this is the top besides the Enviro cloth thing that you need to have in your home is the descaler if you live in an area that has really hard water like we do here in Utah you got to have this it's an enzyme based product it eats like Pac-Man away at hard water. So I will spray this on my faucets um, that get the hard water on my shower, on my refrigerator where the water is, where it'll drip. It leaves like this white chalky hard surface that you can't get off. This will eat right through it. I helped this cute girl Brittany one time at her house. She was using her Enviro cloth and window cloth to clean a window, but the sprinkler always had hit that window over the years and the hard water was so bad. And I told her, you're not doing anything wrong. You need the descaler. So I went back over to house and I sprayed her window. We took it out, sprayed her window with this, let it sit for a few minutes and it ate away at it. And then we went back over with the Enviro cloth and window cloth and that window shined up beautifully. She couldn't believe it. So I love this stuff. I've had friends come and borrow it. I've gone to my friends' homes and scrubbed their showers with it. They love this. So this is amazing if you have hard water, well water, and you're having a hard time cleaning up those markings. This is amazing. I can't imagine not having this in my life after three years. There's no way. I am in love with the descaler. Okay, when I dust, I don't spray anything. I don't use any spray whatsoever. If I want to clean my blinds and get a really good deep clean, you have seen me use my EnviroCloth. It comes in many colors, so you've seen different colors. I will use that on my blinds, but if I'm doing a, just a tidy wipe over getting the dust off, I use my dusting mitt. And like I said, I don't use any chemicals with it whatsoever. So um, what I do is I rub it and I get that static charge going on it. And then I just start going over my surfaces, my bookcases, um, light fixtures, 
um, blinds, anywhere where there's dust, I use this and it picks up so much. You'll be so shocked. I don't use any cleaning products with this as well. Um, and this also has the silver in it. So what is amazing, you guys, if you're still spring cleaning, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this wet and you're gonna go to your screens and you're going to wipe your screens. It's gonna pull all that dirt off. And you don't even have to take your screen off. It's awesome. So, oh, your intake vents. Your intake vents. I love this. I love this. When I first got this, I was like, okay, big whoop. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. It pulls everything up because, again, it's that microfiber. And you won't be dusting as much. Okay, the other thing I use to dust with is th with this Enviro Wand. Okay, again, I don't use sprays. I don't any of it. You can wetly damp it and what's amazing is that it's bendable so you can bend it to get into places and high places and um, shelves, door jam, like doorways and everything and clean. So I love this and I love using it on my ceiling fan. And it washes up really good. All you have to do is just take it off and pulls right off and goes into the wash. I connected this to my mop handle, my Norwex mop. And you've guys seen my mop in videos. Um, if you haven't, click on the microfine glass on my um, front page of my channel and type in Norwex mop and you can see videos of me using that mop. I love that mop because I don't use any chemicals either. I just use water and that is one of my favorite products. I also love the Blue Diamond from Norwex. This is amazing. If you have seen videos of me cleaning my bathroom, spraying my toilet with like a spray bottle, that's because you only need a little bit of this. So I'll take one part of this to nine parts water, put it in a water bottle. Um, I will spray my shower with it and wipe down my showers. I use that pretty much three times a week. And this I just put without diluting into my toilet and clean my toilet with it. So my kids go in the bathroom and they clean without using any harsh chemicals. So I love this product. It doesn't leave a residue, it picks up the mildew, and um, I love it. This stuff works beautifully in the bathroom. And of course to maintain my showers, you guys know, I've mentioned it about a zillion times, is this bath mat. This has the microfiber, this is what I keep the scum off my shower walls with, and this is a scrubby side. So later when I go in to deep clean my shower, there's not a whole lot that I need to do. I'll go in with either my cleaning paste or my descaler to get any hard water spots off. And that's it. So let me share with you my vacuum. You all have asked, where did you get your vacuum? I got my vacuum at Costco. So this is the Shark XL Capacity Professional. I wish I had a model number, but I, but I don't. But here you go. And it works so well. It's been my favorite vacuum so far that we have gotten for the house. I love that vacuum. It does such a good job. I am in the market and looking for something cordless though because when I need to go do my stairs, it is kind of a pain to carry up and down and bring up and down the stairs. So I am looking for more of a cordless vacuum. So if that ever happens, I'll let you know. Well, there you have it. Those are some of my favorite cleaning products. I have been using them for three years. I haven't looked back. I, I've tried other products, like I said, but I just go back to my Norwex products. They work. They work. And I'm so happy with them. So, so happy. I love that we're not using harsh chemicals in the home. Um, I, Jonah, my son, he has asthma. And so using these products have cut down a lot of use on his inhalers. So I know what I'm bringing into the home is safe. If you have any clean products that don't have chemicals, please leave them below. I love trying things that are new, but I haven't switched to anything else. I love, love Norwex. If you wanna know more about these products, there is a link down below. But now I am super excited to go see what Candace's favorite products are. I'm excited to see what she cleans her home with. I love learning from other people and I'm excited to see what she's got going on. So go hop over to Candace, give her some love, and tell her I sent you. So. Thank you, Candice, for doing this collab with me. You are darling, and let's go. Let's go see what she's doing. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Bye. Take two. <laughs>
You got a cute director. 